Are you ready for an adventure? <laughs> Me too. I know. It's the best time when you don't expect it. So, we're all loaded up. We're here at Sumner Falls where we left off last time here on the Connecticut. And uh, today I have my brother with me, Jay. Saw him earlier. Cody, everybody might remember him from the uh, two lavoos across the ice. He was the one that made that killer venison stew. So he's gonna be playing Garçon again tonight. That's his nickname, by the way. And uh, yeah, so I got my lightweight pack boat, my Hornbeck. My brother's got his Mad River canoe. And uh, Cody and Ben, my crazy neighbor, he's got a uh, Mad River Kevlar as well. So it's kind of neat. They set up these little pack backrests, these little pack chairs, so they could have a backrest that kind of killed them last time. So that's pretty unique, kind of cool. So maybe if I get a chance later, I'll go over that in more detail. So if you're interested, you can do it yourself. So, yeah. Oh yeah, and of course, can't forget the cast iron pot of dreams. Pot of dreams. <laughs> Let's go paddle. Beauty day, beauty day. Love it out here. So yeah, our trip this time should be in total about 23 miles, I think. So we're gonna, today's a short day. We had to shuttle all the cars and you know how that is. Oop. Caught a little eddy here. So anyway, yeah, today's only three miles and then the next two following days are 10 and 10. So we're staying at a primitive campsite tonight. And then tomorrow night, we rented a state campground, the Wilgus State Campground. So we're gonna we're gonna stay there tomorrow night. Should be nice. We're hoping maybe we can order pizza or something like that. And then oh, we got a white water guy over here. It's kind of cool. Yeah, he's got a little white water rig. Even the falls. So and there's a brewery on the way, Harpoon Brewery. So we may stop in today and grab a beer. So yeah, Let's see if I can get this guy on camera for you. And I'll get with you in a minute. Well, it's official, we're on the water now, so. How about an all day IPA? Oh, I love that sound. First one of the day. Beach to it. Say hello to the live audience. I was thinking. I'm kidding. I'm kidding, it's a bad dad joke. So that means we can't swear. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I don't know how to beep that out, so. Yeah. You guys excited? Yeah. Hey, look at this. Look at this. This is our height above the water. Yeah. Too. Yeah, don't fool around. No. I'm sure a few beers in, we won't be any wobblier than we are now. Hot today though, they're talking about the upper 80s, lower 90s. For Vermont, that's wicked hot for us northern boys. But uh, no better place to be than on the water. So, up ahead of me is a Scutney Mountain. You can just see it. Kind of cool. I'll show you. A big high point right there. Right there. That's Mount Escutney. There's a lot of hiking trails. We have some state campgrounds. We actually thought about staying there. It's a little too close, so we're going to continue on to Wilgus on the second day. Nice breeze. Beautiful day. Oh. 
wind's gonna blow me all the way back to the parking lot. Where are we? Where's Sumner Falls? Sumner Falls. Yeah, so we have to go past Hart Island. There's a couple islands. We haven't made it to the first one, I don't think. Oh, right here? Yeah. yeah, so that's the first one. So we got past that first island. Oh, where am I on the map again? Oh yeah, there's a second one coming up. It's about half again the distance we just did. Or about the same distance we just did to the campsite. Oh really? Yeah. Wow. So it must be that's the beach and up through there is the brewery. We got what eight miles to the brewery? Is that right? About eight miles they said. Brewery probably be tomorrow. Be tomorrow. We have enough beer anyway, jeez. I'm just trying to figure it out. <laughs> That's a really good idea. We'll get there. We'll get there. So I could have done without the extra paddle, but yeah. it always is. So we missed the campsite with the paddle back up river, which was ridiculously hard, especially 90 degree heat, but we're here. So over my shoulder, that's where we came from. And up here is Burnham campsite but you can see it was kind of tricky to see all, you, all we have is that up there in the tree right about there is that little tiny tent symbol and we missed it but I'll take you up there so you can see it's really thick it's like crazy thick Kind of steep too, but we have some rules to follow. In other words, just be good. So, yeah, it's a good distance up here. Some dry wood, probably use that tonight. We started right here at Sumner Falls, worked our way down through here, past this island. I didn't even notice the first island. Did you, Cody? No. No, we just... Not until we turned around and looked back at it. Yeah. We turned around right here, and we were kind of looking towards this island. We decided we knew that it was a little bit further, so we, we got here. We could see a bunch of people hanging out and swimming, and it looked like there was a river to where a bunch of people floating on rafts and kayaks and stuff and they get put in up here and they get picked up right here and uh, we saw that this was this our campsite this Burnham Meadow campsite was just past it so what do we do we went floating right by we didn't we missed it I'll show you why in a minute and we got all the way down into here before we realized we were not in the right spot so we turned around came back and here we are so that's home for the night.
Bring him in, bring him in. Oh, he's a good one. Oh, yeah. What is it? Oh, oh. Looks, like looks like old carp. You got one? What is this guy? Same thing? Oh, oh, oh. he got off. <laughs> Catch another one. Real fast. They like speed. So upon further review, we realize there's a brewery 300 feet away from where we're camping. So we're headed. Thanks for waiting, guys. Yeah. We can't yeah. continue without our fearless leader. Oh, thank you. Hey, look at that fresh supply of wood right there. Would have been nice to know. <laughs> look at so, they got grills with grill covers. Wow, well, this is this is roughing it, the Vermont way. <laughs> Catch up with you at the brewery. We have Stonehenge in Vermont. When you said eight miles ago, it must be tomorrow, is what I was That's what I was expecting. That's why when. This is the most absurd thing I've ever experienced in my life. You want to go on a camping adventure? There's a distillery. This right hardcore there. camping. Oh, it's a distillery. I love this my place. My voice is getting so. <laughs> my voice is getting. Trip. <laughs> <laughs> what a camping trip. Let's go into the brewery, gentlemen. <laughs> yeah, camping. Yeah, he's like, and I was gonna have hot dogs. <laughs> ah, let's see what we have here. Mm. What do you think, guys? Having a hard time camping? Yeah. <laughs> and another beer for you. Here we are at the festival, the barbecue festival. Hey guys, wait a minute guys, that we managed to find a loophole for because we came in Riverside. We didn't have to pay. <laughs> How do you feel about that? I feel richer already. <laughs> we definitely got our money's worth. We, we did get our money's worth. Path of life. Path of life, that's two camp. Oh. Done. That's where Cody left his cross. Somebody, yep. Somebody decided to leave. Those them. are Cody's, right? Yep, Cody's cross. So we're entering Path of Life Garden. It's right here behind Harpoon Brewery. It's really cool. So if you guys are ever new in the Connecticut River and uh, you want a place to stay, you can camp here. We're staying at the campground, well, the river campground that's right nearby. And uh, yeah, we just had a crazy good meal uh, at the delicious. brewery. Delicious. Listen, what would you have? I had a Waigu burger, and? Vermont raised beef, delicious. And I had a couple beers, like three beers. Yeah, they were good. Dark, harpoon dark, excellent. Nice. Going past the Stonehenge again. So yeah, there's a. It's pretty cool up here. There's lots of kind of artsy things to check out. There's a hedgerow maze. They got tiki torches now that we're leaving. Yeah, they See have that? a bunch of tiki torches to light the way. And uh, yeah, so if you're ever you're out here doing the Connecticut and uh, you're gonna spend the night, make sure you stay here. Path of Life Garden, right near the Harpoon Brewery near Windsor, Vermont. I think it's Windsor. If I'm yeah. wrong about that, I'll. Uh, 
I'll say something in the video right now. But uh, yeah, it's definitely a must, a must to stay at. So. This place is awesome. If you're camping, this is a cool place to stop. So yeah, and the rest of the guys are up there. How cool is this? Good job, Cody. Thanks, Ben. Woohoo!